Hey everybody, oh my god, I wish I was anywhere but here. I I regret picking up that overtime. I'm tired right now. And I don't know why, because uh, after work, yes, no. What day was that? Sunday morning. I get home, uh, shower, eat something. And then um, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get up later and cook a real, some real food. Like I had some of that Trader Joe's beer still in the freezer. I had some things I could cook, but I didn't have like milk and all that. So um, there were certain things I couldn't do. So I was like, okay, just left that. I don't, um, cause yeah, I still haven't hit theaters yet. <laughs> it's just. I plan to do it, and then I'm like so tired the next morning. I'm like, forget it. I'll do it another day, and I'm, I'm gonna have to actually go tomorrow because um, I'm like gonna be at a creamer. So, <laughs> so anyway, I ate and everything, and then I literally slept like. Almost all of Sunday. I mean, I got up a few times, but oh, you know what happened Sunday? I had bad leg cramps and those bad hip, like inner hip, inner thigh cramps. Cause I don't know, I forgot about my Gatorade Zero and just keeping things replenished. You know, after I sweat and stuff. So I think that's what it was. I was so. Oh, and I was like crying. I was like begging, like stop, please. Cause every time I would move, it would like spasm. And I have those leg cramp things. Those weren't really doing nothing. My pickle juice, I put it back in the refrigerator, so I would have had to walk over there to get it. I was like, nah. And like, so I took a bunch of those leg cramp pills, like dissolving pills. And then um, what else did I do? I forgot what happened. I forgot, but it was bad. Oh, because months ago, I think like last year or sometime, I got magnesium from Walmart, and I I just stopped taking it because, you know, I got back on my program with my Gatorade Zero, like replenishing my electrolytes and salts and all that. And so I didn't need it. I didn't really take them anymore. But I think I I asked um, Alexa or whatever. I was like. Does magnesium make you drowsy? Because I literally slept the whole rest of the night after that. I think I got up a few times like go to the restroom and all that, but I was like, oh, I'm gonna get up later and cook that food. And um, I just ended up eating like crackers I had in there and leftover Cheetos and stuff like that. <laughs> I was like, oh, I wanted to get up, but I just was like, by then, like, the, the cramping has stopped, but I was like, I just don't feel like it. So, um, the next morning, which was, this was Monday, which was today, or yesterday, um, I slept almost, like, till noonish, and I was like, okay, I gotta get out now, because I gotta eat something, take my, like, morning meds and everything, so... But, um, after work tomorrow, because I'm only working five hours, um, I have a dance appointment at one, but, okay, they're not open on Sunday, right? Or Mondays, right? Because I tried to call today because I was like, you know, I need to, I need to make an appointment and I need to come in because that filling came out from the root canal and um but they weren't open so i gotta call tomorrow after I, they open around 10 so i'll call them but i have that cleaning tomorrow so i was wondering if i should just be like oh i need to do my um get my filling replaced or see what happens like because i'm like you know, there's a hole there and like 
food going in there. Like, it doesn't hurt, but I have to get the food out. And so, there's part of it in there filled, and then the top part is gone. It fell out. So, yeah. But, um, I do, I gotta hit theaters tomorrow, because... I need to get a few things, and that brings me to my other thing. So my dad called, and it looks like I'm gonna be there a couple, at least another month, maybe possibly until May. I don't know. And I was really kind of like, I'm kind of happy because it buys me some time, like money saving wise. Cause I really want to get my car before I leave, but. It's just, I was getting really excited about, like, no commute, you know? That's the only part of that. It's like, I mean, it doesn't really impact me. I literally could just leave there, but money-wise, it, it's better for me to stay there until, you know, stretch it as long as I can because, you know, someone has to occupy that place, you know? So, but, yeah. I was kind of like, oh. Um, but yeah, it gives me some more time. So that's the positive out of it. But yeah, I was like, I'm over this community. I can't wait to just be like 10 minutes away from that place. But anyway, you guys. So yeah, I'm going to do that tomorrow. But I don't know what, what, why I was sleeping so much yesterday. But I think it's because of the magnesium. I took two of them because of the McDowell spasms because I went to the restroom and I sat down and my freaking like inner thigh started spasming and I was like oh my god so yeah but that was only on Sunday so it's, it hasn't happened since but I took some magnesium I took two magnesiums and um it just made me I asked Alexa or whatever and she said that it causes, it relaxes your muscles. Cause magnesium helps with cramping and all that. It relaxes your muscles. So some people who don't take it often get drowsy. Like that's what it was. Cause I wasn't, I, yeah, I was tired from work, but not that tired. I literally was like, oh, I could literally sleep all day, all night, the whole day if I wanted to. It's like if I didn't have to get up and cook, I would have just like, but last month, when you guys, I got some good news. So, um, I am wanted to cross train in this other area. I think I still am going to. It's like inbound something. I forget what the thing is. Like, you forgetting the initials. But the manager was telling me that they also need people on my shift that to help it in the guard shack for Tom like to t check the trucks in and stuff and I'm like oh my god his he said because you can sit in there and this and that and I'm like oh. so <laughs> not because of that but but the only thing is it wouldn't be all the time it would just be when they need it and I guess they need like coverage on back half night and I didn't say anything to them but I'm still planning on transferring to like another shift but for now, he was saying, yeah, if you have a zoo key, then they're looking for people who have zoo keys to just check their trucks in. So I was looking up that people who do that job at other ones, and they were like, sometimes the truckers are like mad because they got to come back and all that, where they can't take it right now. And I'm like, I hope none of them yell at me like, bitch, let me bring my truck in. <laughs> But yeah, so I don't know when she told me this week I'm going to be cross training to something. I don't know what it is. But he said, yeah, he's all, think about it. I'll talk to you next week about it. And that fool probably already sent me to my name over there. But the thing is, I'm like, it's outside. Well, you're inside of a shack thing. Like, kind of, you know how guard, her security guards are in a guard shack? It's like that, but in the trucking area for the truckers and all that. I'm gonna get me a baby daddy, okay? I'm gonna be like, after you drop that load, you can drop another load. <laughs> Kitty. No, but, um, so, yeah, I'm excited about it because 
it'll be occasionally, you know, it may not be all the time. It may be, he said it depends because sometimes it might be like every shift and then other times it might be like weeks before again, you know. He said you get to sit and um, just check the guard, the trucks in, in and out the whole night. And there may be like a long time between trucks. I'm like, I couldn't contain myself. But so yeah. Cause I was telling him, you know, I'm tired of like, well, actually I gotta give credit to my PA cause she really was the one who kind of broached it. And I was telling him, he was like, he's the one that said, well, you know, there is a thing that, you know, she kind of had my back, she had a little, she kind of told him and he said, well, you know, there is something where you can sit in the car chat thing. So we'll see how it goes, you guys. I don't know. I'm excited because, yeah, it's something different. Like, but anyway, guys, I will touch you guys later. I gotta run it by my my buddy, my buddy old pal for the on this shift. I gotta tell him what, what it is. He's gonna be like, what? No, you gotta leave me. But I told him I'll be here on on your nights or whatever. But sometimes I might be in like like helping the like checking in the trucks and all that when they come in to the building so yeah but i'm like where is it at because i seen the little shack over there but i'm like i'm so i'm gonna have to walk i'm gonna have to clock in and then walk all the way over there like what the heck they better have a little um security van or something or what are those things called golf cart because this biatch ain't walking <laughs> so i don't care because i don't know at least I'll kind of partially be outside. I'll be like in the air a little bit. I'll just be inside of the thing. So we'll see you guys. I'll keep you posted. Anyway, ugh, I'm going to kill this five hours. Mm. Alright, I'm going to talk to you guys later.